<laughs> oh, look at this in um, Vatican City. It looks like the Catholic Church is about to fess up about uh, past uh, crimes against Jews. Oh, really? Yes, they're working on a new document, Howard. Look at Gilbert doing the whole rush. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs a... It's as hot and it's evil, it's not so good. It's not so good. It's not so good. It's not so good. It's not so Beautiful. Gilbert to be a canter. The Vatican stresses the document is only a draft, but it does use an ambiguous language. Are you interpreting? This is a happy day for Jews like Gilbert. They've been waiting for the Catholic Church. He's saying this is what Gilbert prays every morning. <laughs> you broke him into prayer. Can you sing it like in your parrot voice as a Hebrew parrot? <laughs> Would you let me tell you why he's singing? You tell me why Gilbert is singing the Jewish songs. This new draft document says the Catholic Church should confess that she bears co-responsibility for the Nazi Holocaust. It says the traditional Catholic teaching of contempt toward Jews was a major reason many Christians, together with their bishops, were so prejudiced that they did not recognize the evil of the Nazi anti-Semitic persecution. Gilbert, this is the happiest day of your life. <laughs> This is the joyous Gilbert aside we never see. It wasn't until the famous Jewish song. <laughs> yes. That the church finally canceled the Catholic liturgy that said Jews killed Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. Do you mean the Catholic Church has finally admitted? Well, in 1965, they finally dropped that thing that Jews killed Christ. Right. But they've never gone back and corrected everything that they did in the past. And right. they're now saying maybe we ought to fess up and say we had some complicity there oh, in that whole Nazi thing. So now it is official. Not official. This is just a draft. A but draft. They're considering oh, it. Just a draft. Oh, what are you singing about, Gilbert? It's a draft. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Yiddish Glenn Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert, this is a happy day for your people. Yes. Doch <laughs> Oh, this would really be a happy Jewish day. Catholic Church know how to make the Jews happy. Yeah. Gilbert has been praying for the day that the Catholics would forgive him for killing Jesus Christ. <laughs> what does this song mean, Gilbert? It's, uh, it's hard to translate. Right. <laughs> it's if a man is walking carrying a jug of water. Right. <laughs> and it's a sunny day. Right. <laughs> and that is a dog who is barking <laughs> when it is raining. But you never you never felt the Jews killed Jesus Christ and this is vindication for you and your uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> That's the song of victory, Victory. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the song of victory. The Jews are all singing. All right, thank you. All right. We, we love it, but it's... It's enough. Have you seen this new trend? First Mississippi did it, and now... Wait, a new song. All right, then. Very good. <laughs> what else is in the news? I I'm would say it. Uh, have you noticed this trend uh, with states now? Mississippi was the first to do it, and now um, I think Florida. <laughs> Shut up, Gilbert. Chicken with his ball. They are passing laws in the state to allow them to sue tobacco companies <laughs> for uh, all the Medicaid. It has cost the state to take care of people who wind up with cigarette-related illnesses. I can't hear. I know. All right, go ahead. So they estimate in Florida alone that uh, they've spent 1.2 billion dollars treating illnesses caused by cigarette smoking since 1989. They want to sue the tobacco company for billions of dollars. Ridiculous. How are they going to do? Do. <laughs> right, I, I got to. What I do is to turn off his microphone Good. for a while. And he calms down. Because like being in the He's jungle. Over the top. Yeah. He's become a real pirate. He lives in the jungle. It's like a, it's like a madhouse in here. <laughs> Gilbert was on a roll. It was funny. Now you got to calm him down for he ten won't minutes. Stop. Yeah, you <laughs> should can't mellow out. <laughs> hey, you were funny. Stop. <laughs> Wait for something else to happen. So anyway, it's another attack on the tobacco companies. You know, they're having those hearings in Congress trying to determine exactly when the tobacco companies knew the cigarettes were dangerous or whether cigarettes are dangerous. And now the states are jumping on the bandwagon saying we're going to sue you oh, for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for causing illness. <laughs> Where are you now? I don't know. I'm losing it. <laughs> for uh, well, all the illness and the Medicaid payments that it's cost. That's so. <laughs> and in the White House yesterday, one staffer abruptly resigned after it was learned that three White House staffers took a helicopter to go to a golf outing in Baltimore, I, feel I mean, your, in Maryland. I feel your pain. <laughs> they were not able to come up with the exact cost of the use of a military or uh, presidential helicopter to go to a golf course, but they do say that the cost of mm. running such helicopter is, uh, copters is $2,400 an hour. It's upsetting. Uh, the, initially, the guys involved... You know, tried to cover themselves by saying that they were scouting the place for the president, but it turned out the president really didn't have this golf country club on his itinerary. Hmm. So finally, one guy resigned, another guy is going to be reassigned, and they haven't decided what to do with the third guy yet. I don't know. It would think. be pretty cool, though, to take a helicopter to a golf game. Oh, yeah, the country club yeah. thought it was such a big deal that they called the newspapers cool. Cool. to tell them to come photograph the event, and that's how they were found out. Wow. Fantastic! They could take a helicopter! <laughs> cool. <laughs> and finally, today is the uh, day of the big opening of the Flintstones, the movie. It was a big opening. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Sorry, John Goodman. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I heard he got terrible reviews. Getting mixed reviews, oh, I would say. Really? Cause I've seen three stars. I've seen two and a half stars. I saw one and a half. One and a half. <laughs> so it's all over the place. Nobody wants Rosie O'Donnell to do well. <laughs> they say they're very good. Are they? Yeah, but I can't see her as Betty Rubble. That's a, that's a ridiculous... Betty was a piece of ass. Yeah. God. She was fantastic. She has a big opening. Yeah, she has a big opening. Robin, you have a big opening. No, I don't. Here she goes. Going to waste. Going to waste. <laughs> and that's why it's closing. <laughs> She's trying to make it smaller. <laughs> On Maury Povich today, Lily Tomlin. <clears throat> Maury. <clears throat> Lily She's Tomlin? pushing that uh, there's a second special. Of that Edith <laughs> Ann cartoon that she does. Yeah, she's she got an important career. Gilbert <laughs> plays a parrot. She plays. A, at, least, at least she plays a human being in her cartoon. What is the deal with her? Who, Edith Ann? No, with Lily. Man, oh, know. Lily. Oh, Lily. She's not really that funny. <laughs> <laughs> she's darn, not... darn, darn. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think. No offense, Gilbert, but I think once you start doing cartoons, <laughs> it's over. Pretty much the end of the line.